whether Barrera can make something out of that reach. And again, we see once again, it's the Southpaw Orthodox matchup here. Spence the Southpaw getting busy early with the jab, which Dave is an often neglected weapon in the Southpaw Orthodox matchup. But when you can find it, man, it opens a lot of opportunities for that straight left or, or, or that hook around the side. Yeah, because we talk about the right hand lead against the lefty. We talk about the doubling up of the left hook to the body. Good one. But the jab always seems to disappear in that discussion. It does. But what happens, though, is once you can establish that jab, you, what you also establish is the feint of the jab. And off that feint, you get him reacting off that jab, that feint is going to do one of two things. It's either going to open up the center line for that straight left punch, or if it's going to open up the left temple of your opponent for that right hook. So by establishing that punch, the jab, you're actually creating the opportunity to land your two biggest power punches. And it just happened, as you were talking about it, for Barrera, who threw the jab out and got Spence to react and then just missed it with an uppercut by a whisker. And you know that he'll try to go back to that if that situation stands there. It's in the head now. It's a two-way street. And of course, it's all about the timing if you're Barrera. You better get that uppercut in there quickly. The Spence has a world of speed. Spence looks a little more anxious than usual right now. And I don't know if it's being in his hometown turf, feeling the pressure of wanting to put on a big show so he can, he, he wants a title shot. You know, and I don't think a victory over Barrera tonight will be enough to get him in line, but it might open up, an, open up enough eyes for, for people to start talking about that next stepping stone, that next opponent that'll bring him to a, a title shot. But either way, he just looks a little more anxious, less smooth than usual. They've labeled this as an eliminator, so that will raise the stakes. And then in front of his hometown crowd, also very close to being at the top of the card. And all those things come together. So I can play into the anxiousness. And usually we see guys get rid of that after a round or so. Well, I'll tell you what, Barreta just landed a right uppercut and then falls right afterward the straight right, both finding their mark on the chin of Earl Spence Jr. So Barrera trying to send a message to Spence that this is going to be your hardest fight as we come to the end of round one. Time! back at some of that action. And there's that uppercut and that straight right, doubling up the right hand from Barrera. Both punches finding their home on the face of the truth, Earl Spence Jr. A little more action, here you go. Another right uppercut, boom, chambered. Cox threw the right hand right after it. And I love it when I see a fighter double up on the same side of weapon. Right uppercut followed by right straight. Left hook followed by left uppercut. That doubled it up. It always works well. I always loved watching Mike Tyson do that. Oh my gosh, he was brilliant. Quick shot and then the uppercut right he, behind it, both with the right, right hand. Right hook to the body, right uppercut upstairs, or same with the left. Or he take an angle off of it, I'd love it. Especially if it doesn't look like a shot that's easy to land and then the guy can put two of them together. So, Barrera showed a little magic there in the first round. Now Spence trying to settle down, lands a good right hook and he drilled Barrera with that one. He not only settled down, he almost put Barrera down. You saw the knees of Barrera buckle, but then a split second after, you saw Barrera bite down his mouthpiece and fire back saying, no, 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 I'm still in this fight. Some good toughness there by Barrera. 
I loved it, man. He, he, his knees buckled, and you just saw it. You saw a split second look in his face where it was just conviction. Like, no, no, it's not going down like that. And then he loads up with a big right hand. But of course, if you're Spence and in Spence's corner, they'll remember the wobble. Oh, yeah. They get back to that, set it up again. Use the angles. Spence is right on him. And a good right hand by Pereira. Good right hook by Spence. Box. What about this movement by Barrera? A lot of it, and yet staying outside the punching range. He's, oh, big left hand. With good reason, maybe, as he was drilled by Spence. You know, S Spence is trying to sit down on his punches, but when he's chasing a moving target outside of his range, it's hard to sit down. He tees off. He drills Barrera. He nailed him to the temple. Uppercut by Barrera. Saying not so fast. Good work in this round. Merrill Spence Jr. It's the final few seconds tick off. A signature round for Spence Jr. And there we see the right hook from Spence that wobbled. Barrera. Taking a look back at some of the action. You see Spence comes in, he lands that straight left, and there's the right hook that snaps back the head of Barrera. Barrera bites down on his mouthpiece, fires back. But it's Spence pressing the action, again with the left hand. Again, the right hook over the top. Third round of 12, Errol Spence Jr., Alejandro Barrera. Barrera landed a nice uppercut. Good combinations in the opening round. And Spence came storming back in round two. Heard it with a right hook and also a straight left hand. It's a good right hook again by Spence. An uppercut by Barrera. I've noticed Blair doing some cagey footwork here. When you're an orthodox fighter fighting a southpaw fighter, the lead foot battle is something that's very important. The fighter wants to keep, who's pressing the action, wants to keep his lead foot on the outside of his opponent because that opens up the straight left hand for the southpaw or the straight right hand for the orthodox. But what I've noticed from Barrera doing a lot is he's actually, instead of stepping outside the left foot, of Spence, he's stepping on the left foot of Spence. So as Spence goes to pull back, Barrera's stepping on it, and it almost snaps him back into place to the range of Barrera, where Bar Barrera can land his punches. It's a cagey little sneaky veteran tactic. And he's been able to utilize it and implement and land some punches because of it. Thinking inside the box. Thinking inside the box. I've watched about four or five times. He stepped on that lead foot, 
And as Spence went to pull back, his, his pull is halted because his foot is stepped on, and he ends up right in the range of the punch of Barrera. If you know what rule you're breaking as you're breaking it, you have a real good chance to succeed because it's not supposed to be done. Right? Like some of those sneaky situations, like when, when some guys throw a, a big shot from outside, and normally you would never do it. But if they're fast enough, they can get out of the way after they throw an uppercut from too far out. Right. Spence with a good left hand, and he's been doing some good footwork of his own to quickly get into position. Break! Break! He's been the faster of the two with the footwork. He's been the faster of the two with the footwork, with the punches, with the combinations, but Barrera is no short on heart. Every time he gets hit, every time he gets cracked, he fires back with bad intentions. Good left hand by Spence. Time! Spence Jr. and Alejandro Barrera into round four of the scheduled 12 rounder. Spence Jr. 18 and 0, 15 knockouts. Barrera 28 and 2. Barrera found a nice little right uppercut on the inside there. <laughs> Spence moving and then Landing a couple of good shots. So the quick movement to the right. And then brought the left hand with him. You see there again was the stepping on the foot by Barrera. Something the corner should be picking up on and raising a little protest between rounds. Good jab by Spence, uppercut by Barrera, missed and left hand by Spence, got in. Shot by Spence, loads up on it. Herrera answers with his right hand to the bottom. Spence really pressing the pace this round. He's really started working behind that jab, following it up with the left hand, either a left hand of the body, or a left hook, or a straight left. And there was again the double jab inside, left hook to the body. He tries to wear Pereira down. Spence is most effective working his way in behind that jab. He was effective in this round. Time! So 
Round five, Errol Spence Jr., Alejandro Barrera. Spence Jr. on the hustling end in the last couple of rounds, especially getting off first and pressing the pace. He's hustling, he's pressing the pace, but he also looks more settled in. That first round and a half, he looked very anxious. Herrera did catch him with a couple uppercuts there. And what he took out of his attack was the lunging. Yes, that became more fluid as he settled down. Good left hand by Spence. He's Lined him up, and here he comes. It. Oh, and it was the body shot that put him down in his own corner. Yeah, they're just coming out of no place. He just keeps wearing you down, wearing you down. And then there's three shots to the body. Now Barrera has to guard against that. And Spence, methodical, surgical. He has hurt Barrera here. Good right hook by Spence. And Barrera starting to slide into deep water. Still game with an uppercut. Good right hook by Spence. A lot of time left in this round. Just under a minute and a half. It was the body shot that dropped Barrera to open that body up again. He's got to he go comes. downstairs. Does and you Barrera see Barrera want to shaking stop? his head? No. Lawrence Cole reads into it and stops this fight. Barrera had that deer in the headlights look. Not near his corner. They didn't pick up on his cue. Lawrence Cole did. And Errol Spence Jr. with an impressive stoppage. The truth always comes out in the end. <laughs> and for Barrera, the truth hurts. The truth hurts, especially when the truth is Errol. The truth, Spence Jr. Brilliant display, body head action. You see the straight left finds its mark. Barrera backs up to the ropes, and here Spence pours on the onslaught. It's the left right to the body, and the right was the one that set him down. He took a long time. He used the count to get up from that one. And here you see, look at Barrera's face. He's shaking his head as he's trying to defend, saying, I've had enough. And Lawrence Cole could see that, plus Spence barreling down on him and he makes the wise stoppage and the entertainer Errol Spence Jr. represented his state extremely well I'm ready to see a, 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 a big name opponent now I'd love to see him step up with the, with the top 10 fighter and see exactly where he does rank with the division's best right now Are they're talking about him in a, a championship so. fight we might <laughs> see that sooner than later Take a look at how he gets things in the beginning. He's talking about he looked a little tight, and that's when Barrera was effective in that opening part with the uppercuts. And then Errol Spence would settle down. And here we see Errol Spence using his jab, double jab cross, snaps back the head of Barrera with the hook. He's found his range, he's found his distance. He's cutting off the ring, body head, body head. And what he would do was continue the assault. Always on top of you, always landing multiple shots. And finally, it doesn't appear to be one big shot. All of a sudden, you get hit with three shots and you're Barrera, and somehow, you're on the canvas. 
and it's just Spence stalking. It's like the predator closing in on his prey. Goes to the body, goes to the body. Barrett is shaking his head no. The referee's shaking his arms, it's off. Earl Spence Jr. with the TKO victory. Phenomenal performance tonight from the truth. And getting a sense of how hurt his opponent was, when he could go for it, he just broke him down, broke him down, and then just broke him. <laughs> and, and when you look at the Ladies and gentlemen, a referee in tightness charge, of those Lawrence shots, we'll talk more about it in a, a halt second. To the contest, one minute, 46 seconds of the fifth round for your winner by technical knockout and remaining perfect, Errol, the truth, Spence Jr.